the number one prospect in this year's cycle is Arch Manning. The Louisiana quarterback starts at the top and stays there. Next up for him, Texas. Arch Manning can't hold on to his student ID, but he can hold on <laughs> to the number one spot in our rankings. Uh, we get the noise, right? Everyone talks about it. Arch Manning didn't throw at this. He didn't go to this. He didn't do that. Well, my question to everyone that brings that up, have you sat down and watched Arch Manning play a game? Because he is a special individual, right? We think he has the highest floor of all the quarterbacks here in the 2023 cycle. 34 to two interception or TD to interception ratio as a senior through an interception on just one of 114 pass attempts. You guys keep bringing it up. Oh, he didn't go to this camp. He didn't do that. Well, he's thrown more passes on Friday nights at the varsity level than any other arms in the, tw in, in the 2023 cycle. We know he's got a one of one pedigree, obviously with his uncles, but everyone knows who they are one of the most famous uh, families in all of football, but he's also got a prototypical frame. He's got a great feel for the game. He can move in the pocket. He's got a great internal timer and he just elevates everyone that's around him. Look at the quarterbacks that are playing for a spot in the Super Bowl. They make those guys better around them. We think Arch Manning can do just that. All right. Yeah, 33 and nine as a starter. Sorry, Emily, last thing, I got to get in as number one player in the country real quick, but I think Andrew hit on it. Elevates the talent around him, right? You think about his fit at Texas with Steve Sarkeesian, the talent that they got coming in. Cedric Baxter Jr., another five-star. Also, Jonte Cook, who was really in the mix for that top 32 conversation. Ryan Niblett as well. And the bevy of playmakers that they have around him. Newman, Isidore Newman, and I say this with all due respect, the they are 33, excuse me, 33 and nine over the last four years because of Arch Manning, not in spite of Arch Manning. Uh, I think this is a guy that, you know, with the year behind Quinn Ewers, I think he's ready to play, but I think he's going to get better and better. High floor player, but I, I think he's got a lot of meat left on the bone as well. Okay, let's take a look at the top 10 for the class of 2023. And for the first time since 2020, the quarterbacks take the number one and number two spots. The last QBs to do it, you might have heard of them, Bryce Young and DJ Uwe Angelale. In total, we got four quarterbacks in our top 10, and we're going to continue to talk about that. Andrew, I'm shielding my eyes from the chat right now. People have opinions, but... Explain to me, I mean, why did Arch Manning maintain his status, not just as the best quarterback, but the best player in this class? I, I, I mentioned it, right? The, the, the floor, it, it's one of the highest floors out there. I think you know what you are getting in Arch Manning. Think about when Trevor Lawrence was selected by the Jacksonville Jaguars at number one overall. He had all the tools. He had the resume. And it's the same thing again with Arch Manning. We mentioned uh, that touchdown to interception ratio. That's super impressive. So is the reps on Friday nights. I don't care about the camps and, and what he's he's done there. And did he do seven on seven? No, that, that's fine for us it really it's just the body of work it's the it's the frame it's how he plays the game we keep mentioning the competition you know this is the same school where uh, Odell Beckham came out there of in, in New Orleans so Arch Manning for us you know there was some debate we talked about maybe moving Keon Keeley there then it was Nico there ultimately we settled on Arch Manning for all those reasons you know we like what we've seen we've studied him I think more than anyone else uh, Cooper has gone and seen him tw uh, play twice and he just checks the boxes. Yeah, you also talk about one of the youngest quarterbacks in the class, right? He's only five days uh, older than Dante Moore, which is something that you take into consideration as well. But the most passing attempts, obviously the most established resume, Dante Moore in that conversation as well, and one of the lowest interception rates. So when you look at the body work, People want to talk about pedigree. Pedigree absolutely factors into this. You take that into consideration. I love the Joe Burrow comp. You know, for me, Yes, Arch Manning has everything that you look for. He's he's six foot four. He's 215 pounds. That's what you look for in the quarterback position. But he's athletic. He can navigate the pocket. He can climb the pocket. He keeps his eyes downfield. And like Andrew said, he's a high floor player. You know what you're getting, but he's only going to get better with experience. And I think Arch Manning's best football is ahead of him. Everybody wants to talk about Arch Manning being a finished product right now. I don't even think that's close to the case. So. Uh, when you put all those factors together, I think we felt very comfortable leaving Arch Manning as the number one player in the country.